We'll get back once again to the OSU Roundup. Now talking to Kenny Gajewski, the head coach of the Oklahoma State Cowgirl softball team. And coach, there's something about top 10 teams on your opponent's schedule. You guys have knocked off a lot of them tonight, and you got, or this week, year already, and you got another one this last weekend. Yeah, we've um, obviously uh, we set the schedule up to play really good teams, and uh, we've done that. Um, feel like we've played pretty well, to be honest, and, and uh, very happy with the way we pitched. Um, played pretty good defense, um, and uh, we've had some moments where we've hit very well, but I think we all uh, are very aware that when you face um, all these ranked opponents and the All-American arms that we've uh, hit against, uh, you're not going to put up some gaudy numbers like some teams may have at this point. Well, and I think you do have to take all of that in consideration. And if you look at the schedule you've had, Coach, um, you know, strength of schedule and RPI starts to come out a little later in the season. But you've got to be way up there right now. Yeah, we're going to be, I would think, in that top 10, top 15. That's kind of where we're ranked. Um, I, I personally think we're a little better than that. Um, we're still uh, here at Oklahoma State. We're always going to fight for those uh, spots, and that and that's okay. We know that going in, so no complaints here. We just know that that's the way it is, and um, you know we could probably be 13 and 0 now, and probably would still be outside that little first group. Just it just takes time to bust yourself into that elite group. When you look at the ascension of this program since you've been here, you've done it started with a lot of offense, a lot of defense. Um, it, but in the circle, you've been scrappy. You guys have just been scrappy. And then, of course, Samantha Shaw came on. This year, you start the awards. You're in the pitcher of the week category all three weeks so far. The depth and the pitching right now is really good. Well, the hardest thing to recruit is those elite arms. And... Um, we're starting to attract some of those kids. And the way Carrie is thrown, I don't think there, there's a pitcher in the country that we could say is pitching any better. I'm sure there's some kids out there that um, are doing similar things, but um, um, numbers wise, but when you start looking at the teams that she's beat, and not only teams, but the opponent pitcher, um, she's already beat three All-Americans. All um, I don't think she's given up a run against any of those kids. Uh, may, maybe one against Alabama. Other than that, I mean, it's been spectacular to watch her play. And then Kelly Maxwell is a kid that we, uh, we've been talking about since the fall um, and um, kind of come out of nowhere in a way. Um, last year was really struggling we decided to red shirt her and I think it's one of the best coaching moves that we made and probably a little bit lucky as well um, but uh, it's because of her hard work and left-handed and gotten stronger and committed to being great and it's really cool to see 1.62 ERA phenomenal and going back to Carrie's week and why she was again the co-pitcher of the week for the second consecutive week she shuts out the Ragin Cajuns then, Coach, the ACC Pitcher of the Year transfer in. So, again, her, her prominence has already been established. Throws her first no-hitter. That's got to be pretty cool. It, 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 it was cool. I saw a smile on her, on her face afterwards. I went out there to shake her hand, and um, she doesn't smile a whole lot. Uh, she kind of keeps her emotions in. And, uh, and she said, that's the first one I've ever thrown in college. And I was like, wow, I, I, that shocked me. Um, but, you know, she's also a, a, a drop ball kid. They get a lot of ground balls. There's a lot of seeing eye base hits. Or there, there's a lot of bad hops um, that can happen uh, that turn into base hits. And so, you know, when, she, when, you, when you throw that type of a pitch, uh, I think it's a little harder to get those no hitters against really good teams. When you talk about <laughs> league play and moving into league play, obviously you want to dominate every single team and you want to be at the top. But when you're talking about the Big 12, you guys are a cohesive unit. Everybody needs to be good. Five teams in the top 25. That is really good for the Big 12. It's the first time in my time here. Um, I don't know when that's happened last, uh, but really uh, cool to see, um, you know, OU, uh, OSU, Texas, Texas Tech, and Baylor all in there. And, and um, you know, Kansas is much improved. Iowa State is much improved. They've already had some marquee wins. Um, our conference, our PI is going to be very high again. We finished second in the country last year. Uh, we've been third in the country the last uh, seven, eight years. Um, so to jump either the Pac-10 uh, or the um, uh, SEC is a difficult task, just purely because we don't have the amount of teams that participate. Um, so it's tough. So I think it tells you a lot, a lot about the commitment to playing good schedules um, and then winning games. 
And coach, you guys have obviously been on the road and now finally the fans get a chance to see you at home. The OSU Tulsa Invitational Friday, UIC, Louisville's in this thing. You got Oregon in here, Drake. It's going to be a great weekend. This is probably one of the best home tournaments that we've ever had. It's very difficult to schedule these uh, tournaments, and we're always trying to get quality teams in here, and it's very difficult. Louisville has already played a really good schedule. They're about 500, but really played a good schedule, um, so they're not going to be blown away by us. Um, Oregon's in the top 10, hasn't lost yet, um, hasn't played quite the schedule that we or Louisville played, but they've still won all of their games, pitching very well. Um, UIC, another tough opponent, and then Drake, obviously, um, has been very good a postseason team the last couple of years. So um, we're not going to, you know, our jersey is not going to scare anyone. We're going to have to go play. Um, I expect uh, to have record crowds, to be very honest. Um, the weather is going to be unbelievable for uh, uh, March, uh, the first of March. And, and um, I expect these uh, fans are excited to see this team play. Uh, we, we got uh, bobblehead night. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff going on. So I think it's going to be a blast. No doubt about it, Coach. 60s and 70s. Even if it was cold, this is set up to be a well uh, attended a tournament. But to be in the 60s and 70s, it's going to be a weekend off the charts. Always appreciate the time. Best of luck this weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Can't wait. Hey, that's going to do it for us. We want to say thanks to Coach Jim Littell. For Coach Kenny Gajewski, I'm Casey Kendrick. We'll see you guys next time right here on the OSU Roundup.